seeing on the shades, bro. You're not, you're not, you just leave the shape or go forward, you know what I mean? But um, my uncle gave me them, so I'm like, you get me looking for some rowing berries today. Not me. <laughs> but let's, let's, let's. All right. Boom. EZ, big love and above. This is Natural Selection TV. And I'm here at Scouse Henge. Um, <laughs> I'm here in Prinny Park at this, bit of, this little bit of woodland, this tiny bit of, of forest. I actually came with the group to plant these trees years ago. I can't remember how long ago it was, but this is how big they are now. And I was here the other day because I noticed these rowing berries were coming in, but I've come to forage them today. So I'm going to talk a bit about this tree. It's such an amazing tree, you get me? Boom! This is European mountain ash. AKA Rowan. It's in the Rosakai family and Sorbus genus. It's called European mountain ash because this tree can grow really healthily at high altitudes as well, do you get me? It strengthens the soil. And at ash, this isn't actually a very good example. But the, the branches, they grow upwards like that instead of like out or downwards, you get me like other trees, they grow upwards. The amount that they grow up is also the same amount that their roots distribute. So they're a really strong tree. This tree is the second tree in the OM calendar. It's associated with Aquarius. So at the end of January, early February is the best time to use and harness the powers of the rowan tree, do you get me? The rowan tree's element is fire and the stone that it's associated with is tourmaline. Yet this tree symbolizes psychic power, healing, protection, and the quickening of life force is fast, you get me? Again, like the element of fire is the same thing. It does that when you add fire to something. It quickens and intensifies how it expresses itself. Using a stick of rowan, stick of mountain ash as a wand or as a walking stick is going to protect you on a journey from being cursed or something, do you get me? There's juju out on these streets, you know. And in traditional Scottish tradition, traditional Celt, Druid, using this ash wood, rowan ash, for anything apart from rit ritualistic purposes was not respected. And cutting down an ash, mountain ash, is bad juju. And as you can see, on the red rowan berry, on the flame Mars rowan berry, it has the five-pointed star, literally, which is the symbol for magical protection spells, do you get me? So yeah, it's not a joke. Berries are edible, but they're, they're really bitter. So I'm gonna dry them out and use them as a tea, do some inner work while drinking the tea. So boom, bunch of rowan berries. I did take some leaves as well, could do some other stuff with them. Yeah, man, grateful. Protection. Boom! This is Natural Selection TV. Big love and above. Easy. So, this is European Mountain Ash, aka. Come on, come on. Um, um, um. Um, like um, um, it is in the family. Um, oh, um, 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 like um, 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 mountain ash symbolizes psychic a bit. This tree, man. <laughs> Char.